Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'll breathe, but just not audibly. Right beside this guy. Like MD5 or SHA-1, 
Um, but what does that mean? It's the technology that keeps these file fingerprints secure. It can be corrupted if the algorithm can be decrypted by computers. This slope is treacherous or this path is dangerous. Um, one, it's the ability to break the code at all, um, as well as the amount of time and money necessary to cause that break to happen. Uh, if an algorithm would take a modern computer or multiple computers years and years to decrypt, decrypt it's uh, still pretty secure, but it's still like my Achilles heel. Another thinly veiled reference. Um, uh, it follows a sort of Moore's Law pattern and it gets faster and cheaper every day. Information security is sort of known as being a moving target. These walls that they put up will fall down. So when you're shipping these things into production or you're investigating what might be a good fit for you, maybe you were thinking that they were forever, ever. And I used to say, never say never, but these things get broken every day. And uh, I'm just, this is exhausting, you know? <laughs> Girl, I know. I know. Uh, anyway, we're going to switch it up and talk about some algorithms that we use uh, out in the wild. Uh, see or see? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. <laughs> check. This is serious stuff. <laughs> we were both young when I first saw you. Uh, I say that because CRC was invented by W. Wesley Pearson back in 1961, and then CRC 32 is a work of several researchers published in 1975. So 32, still growing up now. Uh, it's a lot older and more basic of a process, so obviously like, there's a lot of limitations here. It's not really good for security. You can fake it easily. Um, but it is used in file format verification. I do research in um, digital video file formats, and Matroska files are an example of this. They use CRC32 as sort of a self-check mechanism. Uh, we also have SHA. SHA stands for Secure Hash Algorithm. It was developed by the National Institutes of Standard and Technology as a US federal information processing standard. I was able to say that successfully. Uh, SHA's common, uh, for those reasons, it's like an official government thing, right? Um, but it gets a little complicated because there are different numbers and they mean different things. It's a roller coaster kind of rush. Uh, the lower, less secure versions like SHA-0 or SHA-1 are used to generate small, unique identifiers. So like it uses SHA-1 so that you have unique commit messages. Um, more complex algorithms are used in other things. Uh, HTTPS uses, used to use SHA-1, uh, but that's been broken for a while. So all this time, how could you not know, baby? E -E? It's now, it now uses SHA-2, which is SHA-256 version, not the SHA-512 version. The algorithm's basically the same, but there are different versions of it. Um, and it determines if you're legitimately on the website that you in intend to be on. Uh, then we have MD5. Um, I, we see MD5 a lot in archives, which is uh, my, my field. Uh, so you look like my next mistake. That's at least how I feel because it, sometimes it works. Uh, BitTorrent files also use MD5 for fix fixity and for file integrity. I think I know where you belong. I think I know it's with me. Uh, MD5 stands for Message Digest Algorithm 5 because computer scientists are great at naming things. Uh, <laughs> invented by Ronald Rivest in 1991 uh, to replace the old MD4 standard. Guess what that stands for? Uh, <laughs> but it's also broken. It's, you know, it's broken. Uh, but I, yeah, I work in the archives field where for the most part security isn't an issue and it's okay if checksums are broken from a security standpoint as long as they work from a fixity standpoint. Uh, nothing's gonna change, not for me and you, not because I knew how much I had to lose. Um, so file integrity, file location authentication. I love this gift. Uh, are the files there? Are they what they used to be? Are they what they say they are? Isn't this easy? Uh, you can also use checksums to sort of abstract away larger files for quicker access and validation, like when you said you needed space, what? Um, but if you're thinking about using checksums because of security, you just gotta go in head first, fearless. Uh, the corp principle still stands, though, that uh, regardless of whether you're working in information security or if you're working in digital preservation, you want the assurance that the file has not changed in any way, even in ways that seem invisible, or maybe especially so. So at least that's what people say, A, A. Uh, <laughs> uh, and that's why this stuff is so important. Uh, so from a digital preservation stance, you really want to back up, baby, back up. Uh, but for security, <laughs> Uh, things are more like it's 2 a.m. and I'm cursing your name. Uh, and you end up spending more time dreaming instead of sleeping, uh, or maybe wary of people that are doing so. Uh, so we're not out of the woods yet. I don't have time to get into details and problems with checksums, but you could just uh, summarize it by saying it's trouble, 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 or that maybe it's like trying to solve a crossword puzzle and there's no right answer. Uh, so anything related to cryptography is incredibly complex mathematically, and it should be left to experts, of course. Um, it's complicated stuff, like is this in my head? I don't know what to think. Um, but since you're already out there in the wild, uh, just know that 